What's up guys, it's Aparicio, and today we're gonna do a cinematic color grade in DaVinci Resolve with a simple shot. So let's get right into it. So, if you see here, this is our shot, okay? Now this is no equipment, all right? This is no equipment. This is just a window that was behind me, and then we have some light from inside of an office on my left in the shot. And it's nice and soft, softly wrapping around my face, and then we have that nice backlight, giving me a nice rim around my body, kind of separating me from the background. So it just looks a little bit bland, a little bit stale. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go to the color page. We have our shot. Now I already did my color space transform from log to rec 709. If you don't know how to do that, there's a lot of videos on YouTube on how to do that. But I'll probably explain it a little bit better than me because yeah, I'll be all over the place with that one. So even if you have your regular rec 709 footage from your camera, you can do this. So let's create our first node. Okay, you can hit Alt S and it'll create a node. All right, we're gonna label it Pry for primaries. And now we're just gonna go and brighten it up a bit. Not too much, can't really push this. And by the way, this footage was shot in 1080p. For a cinematic look, I kind of like the highlights to be mainly around 768. Okay, and then just bring the, the gamma down or mid-tones, okay. And now we're gonna go to second node and we're gonna label that curves. Now this shot is pretty well white balanced already so we don't need to really get into that. So we're gonna go to the curves and then we're just gonna bring this part down. Bring our shadows down. Okay, and if we look down here, we're still not crushing. I mean, we're not crushing any of the shadows too bad. So, I'm not gonna raise the highlights because I feel like it's gonna start to break. You know what I mean? So now let's create our look. Obviously I'm looking ridiculously orange here. All right, we're gonna start with this one. We're gonna go back to our primaries. We're gonna call this offset. I'm gonna be tweaking with the offset. I'm gonna be tweaking the offset. We're gonna go to our vector scope and it's kind of pushed a little too much toward orange for me. The skin tones are sitting well. This is our skin tone. A line right here to know if your skin tones are in the right spot. But I'm gonna take my offset and I'm just gonna bring it down towards that, that teal, that cyan. I think I'm comfortable with it right there. And then I'm gonna add a parallel. We're gonna call this one lift, or in other words, you know, the shadows. Okay, so our lift, and I'm just gonna bring my lift toward the uh, toward the teal as well, teal and cyan. I'm just gonna introduce it into my shadows. I'm just That's just the look I'm going for. Just a little bit though. And there we go. And now we're gonna create another one. We're gonna call this one gamma. All right. And we're just gonna push our gamma toward the orange to bring our skin tones back to baseline. So now we go off on with our look. As you can see, we've made a significant difference. Oh, look at that. Looks gorgeous. Guys, it looks gorgeous already and we're not even done. So now I like to adjust as I go and right now I'm seeing it and I'm like, it's a little too saturated the whole shot. So I'm gonna go back to my primaries. I'm gonna go to HDR color wheels and I'm gonna just bring down the saturation, okay? All right, sweet. So now the next thing is I just want me to pop out a little bit more, you know what I mean? I want me to pop out. Like, I'm already popping out already because I got the nice uh, backlight on me, the rim outlining me, but I really want to pop out a little bit more. What can I do? It's obvious. You're gonna go over here to your power windows. Go ahead and click this. Okay, and we're gonna put it right on my face, but not directly. Put the highlight on invert and then we're gonna make it really soft and then we're gonna spread it out and then kind of put it more toward where the light is on your face the main key light that's where you want to put it towards where the key light is shining on our face we want that's where we want the middle of the uh, the power window to be so now to turn that off go ahead down here hit off and we're gonna go back to our primary wheels we're gonna bring the gain down. 
Okay. I brought mine to about 95. Let's see what our offset does. Bring the offset down a little bit. I'm messing with things here. Now we look at the before and after of that. I'm liking it. It's popping me out. I'm looking great there. Oh, okay. Now let's add some, let's add a, uh, a vignette, okay? Let's label this. We're gonna call it PW for Power Windows. And now let's go over here. Oh, we already have it there. And add the vignette. We're gonna go to our uh, settings, size. It's not gonna be a strong vignette, so we're just gonna put it all the way up. Softness is fine, the blend. We're gonna put it down and then we're gonna work our way up. A little bit, barely any, boom. I'm not liking uh, all the teal um, that's coming into my stubble here. See it? So what I'm gonna do is go before the qualifier, after we set our look, press Alt S, create another node. We're going to use our qualifier. Highlight the skin. Press the highlight up here, and there we go. Okay, put the denoise up, put it mine to about eight, the blur up around 10, and then go back to our wheels. And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take the highlight off, we're gonna go to our gain, and we're gonna bring it away from uh, the, the teal cyan, okay? Now it did make my face really orange. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here and put our saturation to about 44. And we got our before and after. And our, my face is looking, there's not a lot of teal bleeding into it, which is good. And now what you can do is, what you can do is here is go to your high dynamic range wheels and then go to light, go to exposure, and just crank it up a little. Go back to your parade, see what you're doing. Crank it up a little bit. And then you're gonna go to shadow, crank it down. And this is just to make our um, our face pop. Reach out and grab it, just so it doesn't look so flat. Okay, boom, so wheat. And then what I'm gonna do is label that skin. And then this was our, that was our vignette. So we'll put that, okay, cool. Now, we're not done. A lot of people would wanna add film grain if they're shooting digital, which I did, who doesn't? All right, we'll go here, we'll go to 35, zoom in, okay? Put the opacity up so you can see it, you can feel it. Nice, nice film grain. So we'll put a label, we'll put FG for film grain. You wanna look at the shot now and say, oh, what can I do now? What I'm gonna do personally for me is go back to my primaries, and I'm just gonna put the, the saturation down a little bit more. Boom, I'm good. And now, another thing I like to do at the, uh, some, uh, towards the end usually of a grade, is do curves uh, two. I'm gonna go to curves, and I'm just gonna adjust what I want about the highlights and shadows. So I'm gonna bring my shadows down a little bit more. As you can see down here, we're still not breaking the, the footage. Okay. I'm gonna manipulate the highlights a little bit more. Bring them down, bring them up. I just don't want it to get too harsh. I don't wanna get, make the lighting too harsh. So we're in a nice spot. There we go. Now we're looking good here. We are looking pretty darn good. Now remember, there was no, there's no lighting equipment. This is shot in only 1080p. So uh, a shot like this, I think would look, it looks great. Obviously it depends on what mood you're going for. If you put the saturation down, then you're kind of feeling like a moody thriller, suspense horror movie. But nonetheless, guys, that pretty much sums up how to get a nice cinematic orange and teal look with a basic shot, a basic grade, no equipment besides a camera, so you can get this with your iPhone, 1080p. And then we highlight all of this and hit Control D to see our before and after. So there was our Rec 709, and that's after the grade. So if you found this helpful, like, subscribe, support the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.